Welcome to this lower body warm up and activation video. I'm Tessa Shifflett. I'm one of the personal trainers here at UREC Fit as well as a student of physical therapy. I'm an avid gym goer myself and love to warm up and get my muscles activated before starting any lift. We're going to start today with ankle rolls. Starting with one side, put your toes on the ground and begin to roll your ankles. Going fast or slow, whatever feels right for you today. Go ahead and switch sides. This is a great move to get the ankles lubricated, ready for the day, and for a good workout. We do almost everything all day on our feet, so taking the time to warm them up can make all the difference. Now we'll move into something called hip openers. Placing your hands on your hips, step one leg up and out like you're taking a step over a hurdle. Once you step out, go in the same pattern stepping up and over a hurdle back. We'll do this on alternating sides. Only go as far as you feel right for your hips. If you have tight hips, you may be a little limited here and that's okay. Move where it feels good for you. Last in our joint mobility, we're going to go into an exploratory lunge. Stepping your feet to a pretty wide stance, you're going to bend one leg down into a low side lunge. From here, slowly go over to the other side. While you'll feel a good stretch through your mid and back thigh, this is mostly to control our movement as we open the hips even more. Now that your body is loose, we're going to add a cardio component to get your heart and lungs firing ready for a great workout. First up, we're going to start doing jumping jacks. Jumping out, spreading your legs and arms at the same time, then back in. Go at an easy pace so that you can keep consistent with it. This isn't necessarily about the speed, we're more trying to warm the body up. Next, we're going to move into high knees. This move is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to bring our knees up as high as possible, as quick as possible. A little different than our last move. Here we go. Moving into the flexibility part of our warm up, we're going to start with a dynamic hamstring stretch. Placing your leg a little bit in front of you, point your toes to the sky with your heel on the ground. Reaching your arms up over your head, slowly bend down towards your toes, stretching the entire posterior part of your body. Slowly roll back up and switch sides. Make sure to take this one slow and really get a good stretch in. Going down to the mat, get into a position on one knee, putting your weight on the forward leg. You should feel a stretch in the front of the thigh. 
If you want to advance this, you can grab your back foot and lean forward with it. Now let's switch sides. You should feel this through the front of your hip and your quads. Lastly, we'll move into side lunges. This will look similar to the exploratory lunge from earlier, but this time we're going to hold and really embrace that stretch in the middle and back of the thigh. Go ahead and switch sides as it feels right for you. Last but not least, we're going to move into some muscle activation. This is the part most people skip before starting a workout, but can be the most important. Activating your muscles before a workout is a great way to use the correct muscles during the workout instead of compensating elsewhere. First up, we're going to start with good mornings to warm up the hamstrings and glutes. Spreading your feet about shoulder width apart, maybe slightly further. I personally find that more comfortable. Placing your hands behind your head. This move is a hinge at the hips, then squeezing the posterior chain to slowly come back up to the beginning. We're going to do 10 of these, counting 3 seconds on the way down and 3 seconds on the way back up. Going into alternating calf raises. One at a time, you're going to lift up onto the toes of one foot and slowly come back down. Go ahead and switch off to the other side for a total of 20 repetitions. If this is too challenging, feel free to keep the alternating foot, the one that isn't working, on the ground as you rise up. Taking it all the way down to the mat now, we're going into glute bridges. Lying on your back, place your feet on the ground and reach your arms around and bring your feet as close to touching your fingertips as possible. Squeezing from your bottom, lift your hips up into the air. If you're feeling a pull in the front of your thighs, step your feet a little further out to relieve some stress from your quads. We're going to do this 10 times again, three count on the way up and three count on the way back down. Lastly, we're going to do a similar move as before, except this time we're going to stay at the top of our glute bridge and abduct our hips like this. We're going to do this one 10 times, three counts on the way out, three counts on the way in.
Thanks for joining me for this lower body warm-up and have a great workout.